Welcome back to DFR in 120 seconds. Today, the power of stacking. In many investigations and in our daily hunting operations, it's sometimes really hard to get some traction and find the first trace of an attacker. One of the most powerful techniques available is what we call stacking. But first things first. Most organizations try to make all of their endpoints look as much alike as possible. Their reasoning is that as soon as they exactly know what's supposed to be on the endpoint, they will be able to spot what's not. Unfortunately, in reality, computers in a corporate environment usually show all kinds of deviations from any kind of baseline the organizations might have. Stacking introduces what I like to call a dynamic baseline. In most of the APT attacks I investigated, the adversaries kept the number of systems they infected to a pure minimum. The first thing we need to build our stack is a stackable artifact collected from a number of endpoints. Stackable artifacts include process lists, service lists, shim cache, and combinations of registry keys and many many more. Like indicated in the picture, I chose to look at the currently running processes. You can use your EDR solution or whatever you can find to collect all running processes from your network. There are also some free tools out there which can gather that information quickly as long as the number of endpoints is not too high. One of them, called SysESP, does not even need an agent. Find the link in the description. We successfully used um, a tuned version of that code to collect running processes and a couple of other artifacts from 4000 servers in less than an hour. Once you collected the data, you can start stacking the data. All you need to do is to create something like a histogram. That means that you count the number of occurrences for every process executable full path. For smaller numbers of endpoints, you don't really need a complex solution like Elastic. Your Linux console will do. For some thousand machines, it won't take longer than a couple of seconds. Here's how you do it. Now you've got a list of processes sorted by number of occurrence. The targeted malware is the exception rather than the norm. We can apply a principle called LFO or least frequency of occurrence. So look at the low numbers. If you like, you can apply some of the rules shown in the find evil poster provided by Sans to point you at suspicious binaries. I hope you enjoyed this episode of DFR in 120-ish seconds and stay tuned for episode number 3 where I'll focus on evidence of execution.